Hello and good afternoon. Right now I am standing in a national forest here in Lakento, Florida. It's about an hour away from Orlando, Florida, but I came out here on the recommendation of Trevor. So thank you so much, Trevor, because he found abandoned vehicle out here in the woods. I am really close to it and I wanna show you what it looks like out here. As you can hear, there's no one else out here. Now this is a popular place where you can come dirt biking, hiking, and so far it is really beautiful out here. Coming up on this little divider in the pathway, look, there it is. Definitely looks like it's been out here for a very long time. I'm so glad he shared this with me. Definitely worth the little hike. It wasn't even that bad, maybe like two, three minutes into this woods. But there's the car. Whoever got it stuck out here must have been pretty upset. And it's right here in the middle of this little forest area. I don't know if they came when it was like winter or when it was really muddy out here because it has a little bit of a swamp area. But this is a great find. Even the rims are still there. And it looks like the engine is actually still inside of it. Looking at the opposite side, definitely looks like this tree has either fallen on the actual vehicle or maybe this person crashed right into it. But people have definitely been out here ripping out the side panels, airbags, anything they really could. And even starting little fires it looks like. I can't believe this is just right here in the middle of the woods. It's definitely been here for a while because you can see spider webs on the steering column. Yeah, the engine is still in here. Not the best condition, but you can still make it out even with all the brush on top of it. It almost looks like people are camping out here. There's a whole bunch of spray paint cans next to me and it almost looks like that's like a crock pot or something to cook food in. This was not that big of a vehicle. But it's really eerie that it's just sitting here. Wow, there's a lot of brush in here. Here's another look of the inside of the engine. You can kind of make it out a lot more when I show it from this angle. Sorry about my shadow, but the sun is starting to set here. Now there is one more stop I do want to make on this journey to a cemetery that's not that far away from where I currently am right now. So we're going to head over there, go see what we can see, because that cemetery, it's been here for a while. So I wanted to go and explore it with you. Making my way to Manfield Cemetery it's off this beaten road right here. You do have to drive down it. I parked my car right next to the busy road because I didn't want to get stuck in all the sand. Now, I did want to explain one thing. A lot of you might watch my channel and say, why does he say things that way? Or why does he pronounce things kind of wrong? So, I actually have dyslexia. Dyslexia has affected me my whole life. I will go more in depth in the future talking about what I had to go through, the schooling, tutoring, and how my family helped me quite a lot throughout that struggle. But I just wanted to touch basis on that just a little bit so that way you know why I say things the way I do or pronounce things not exactly right or read them wrong. And we've finally reached Manfield Cemetery. It is in the back of these woods here. But look at it. It dates back to the 1800s. There used to be an actual town here. But now it's all overgrown. And the cemetery still exists. Sadly, they've been here so long, it's really hard to make out who's actually buried here. This one looks like an OV but then there's one right in front of it. 
someone definitely comes out here and puts these flowers. This one I can actually make out, it's DW, but it doesn't actually say year. It probably did at one point, but the weather really has taken its toll on these cemeteries. Someone comes out here though and leaves lots of coins because on each one of them, there's all these coins to pay the ferryman. I can make out some of these. WZL. I wonder what these actually stand for. If anybody knows, leaves, uh, leave a comment down below of the people's names and what year they lived and died. AC. That one definitely looks like it's split in half. Then there's this one right here. That's all marble. So someone has been here to fix their tombstone. I'm trying to see if it says anything on the front. Sadly, I can't make much on this tombstone. It says Wilson, born 1824. And then I think it says June 22nd, 1897. And it says Wilson on the very bottom of the tombstone. Now it is said, when you put coins on someone's eyes or on their tombstone, that's for the ferryman for when they pass away. So that way they can make it to their afterlife. It's really beautiful out here and super peaceful. The fence surrounding the actual cemetery itself looks like it's well maintained. And that's going to do it for today's adventure. Thank you so much for coming along with me and checking out that abandoned vehicle and the cemetery that's out here in the middle of nowhere. If you did like this type of video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button because it helps my channel out quite a lot and hit the notification button so you get notified every time I come out of the future video. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, week, and year. Thank you.